Hello again, everybody. Let me ask you something. As a believer in Jesus Christ, are you like Superman or are you more like Iron Man? Now, I agree, it is a bit of a strange question to ask for a Bible study, right? But first of all, let's compare Superman with Iron Man. Now, Superman came from the planet Krypton and now lives on Earth. He is a superhero that flies around and fights crime wearing his superhero costume. But when he goes to work, he puts on his work clothes and then he becomes Clark Kent which is actually his secret identity. Then you've got Tony Stark. Now Tony Stark created a suit of armor, his Iron Man suit. The thing is that when Tony Stark puts on his superhero costume, people still know that it's Tony Stark inside the Iron Man suit. See, Tony doesn't hide his identity. Everyone knows that it's Tony inside the suit. So this brings me back to my original question. As a believer in Jesus Christ, are you like Superman or are you like Iron Man? So are you like Superman? If you go to church and show everyone what a great Christian you are, then when you leave the church, you put on your secret identity and you hide your Christianity from the world. Or are you like Iron Man? Do you put on the armor of God, go to church and show everyone what a great Christian you are, then when you leave the church, you still keep the armor of God on you so everyone can see your true identity as a follower of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 33, Whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. I don't know about you guys, but I will never deny Jesus Christ as my one and only personal saviour who sacrificed himself for my sins. Nothing and nobody will ever stop me from showing the world that I am a radically saved Christian. So in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, it says, Therefore put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. I'm Fab and I pray that you have the courage to walk with the armour of God on you at all times so that everybody can see your true identity as a true believer in Jesus Christ. Have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you all later. God bless you all.